So we printed out four cubes and a couple benchies. I wanted to do some speed tests and what we got here is the standard profile which is this one here which is the 300 that comes with the printer on the slicer and then this is slowed down 50% and then this is sped up from the 300 50% more and then 100% more. So essentially 150 millimeters a second, 300, 450 and 600. And if we look at them all together we can see <laughs> there's not a huge difference which is interesting the slower one does look cleaner or sharper but it does have more vibrations in the X axis this is the standard one here has quite a bit of ringing and then the faster one starts to get goopy and the super fast one is even more goopy but I think we're pretty much limited at accelerations at that point anyways I'm just gonna flip them here around and you guys can hopefully see there pretty much identical on each side since this is a core XY machine you can kind of see they do look different obviously as the speed is different but not that much on some of the axes especially the flat ones so the standard 300 took 18 minutes to print out this little cube the 50 percent slower took 21 minutes and then the 50 percent faster than the standard took 13 minutes and the 100 percent faster took 11 minutes so i would say that the standard is quite good but bumping up to about 350 to 400 millimeters a second actually stays pretty composed this is 450 here so maybe around 400 would be the ideal for speed slash quality now for the benchies we have 300 here which is the standard and then the 600 which is the maximum or double of the standard so surprisingly the 600 turned out way better than I thought it would and again I think that had to do with the limit of the physical acceleration as it's going so on the normal one here let's look at it first here it looks really good there's a little bit of something there but other than that it's quite composed and looks really good and I think this only took like 35 minutes or so I can't remember but not too long maybe closer to 40 but yeah not terrible especially for a benchy it's pretty quick but then this one here boogied along even faster and we were somewhere in the high 20s total time well the walls actually look very good but as we got here we got pretty weird warping a little bit funny there but still surprisingly it's stuck together there's more stringing too as things are moving along a lot faster but yeah for you know being sliced ourselves here these are pretty quick and quite reasonable prints for speeding things up but it appears anywhere between 250 to 350 maybe to 400 would be about ideal for this printer All right, so we're printing an ABS print and if we look here we can see our nozzle temperature or bed temperature and here we have our chamber temperature and the chamber temperature is actually adjustable which is pretty cool if you click on it it was at 35 let's say we're gonna set it to 50 click enter and so now it's gonna heat up and the thing that makes it heat up we could go underneath the bed we can see there's a dedicated ceramic heater here and it's actually blowing really hot air that heats up the whole chamber and is going to raise the temperature as you can see it's already going up it's at 40 41 and our target there is all the way to 50 so yeah the printer has its own dedicated heater to heat up the chamber <laughs> 